What's going on guys? I'm gonna make a very, very short video on FUBU. I used to make some videos on FUBU uh, a whiles back, you know, when the craze and, and all of these high speculation, high growth stocks were really in effect. Um, you know, I don't really know if anyone is still actively kind of holding this position or, you know, maybe you guys trade this position or maybe you're just curious about it. If you are, please let me know down in the comment sections uh, that you are still kind of interested in this stock. If you are not, I will not make any more videos on it. But let's just kind of look where we're at right now, pretty much a flat day, how much lower can the stock really go, right? I mean, we were talking about at all time high prices, prices of like 69 bucks, uh, and obviously 30s, 40s, 20s, so forth and so forth. This stock has been pretty much a dead stock for over a year. Is it coming back? Are these streaming service stocks starting to come back? Will they come back? You know, it's to be determined. Could you see some stocks go bankrupt? Could you see some stocks uh, merge? Could you see some stocks, you know, kind of just fold? Uh, some companies fold entirely possible. Could FUBU be one of them? Maybe, um, you know, could it be a penny stock in two or three years? Maybe you have to always kind of imagine guys, penny stocks on the OTC market. They don't just open up as penny stocks. They get put there by the market. So what I'm trying to say is, you know, down 1% today, 4 cents, right? Not really doing much. There's no volume. There's no price action. There's no news. There's no reason for FUBU to move right now. If you're kind of sitting here waiting for these small caps to move, you've got bigger problems on your hands. In order for these some of these smaller caps uh, to kind of move, in order for, you know, some of these higher speculation names to get going again, you're gonna need the market to get going again. And what does that mean? You're gonna need the SPY, the triple Qs, the big dogs, the big tech stocks, the big heavy weighted stocks in these ETFs to kind of wake back up. You're gonna need some sort of economic shift uh, in the economy to happen, something with inflation, uh, interest rates, so forth and so forth. Before you really see any any type of money being driven into these smaller uh, cap stocks, these higher speculation names, some of the other sectors are going to need to wake up first, okay? Now, they always say that money will flow back into speculation before big tech or before big mega cap stocks, which could be entirely true. But just kind of looking at where the stock is at right now, it's stuck in a tight range and it's been in a tight range for realistically the past two to three months, okay? High price being around $3.67, low price being around $2.32. Right now we're currently being traded towards the lower uh, channel, which is around $2.50. What we would need to see happen is at least get back over its 20 day moving average. Every time FUBU gets over its 20 day moving average, immediately within one to two days, it gets rejected, rolls over, loses that area and kind of just drifts sideways and drifts lower. So first step is to get back over 268 and actually start to hold 268. Over 268, the price target would be $3 and over $3, 367. Anything beyond 367, I do not see happening anytime soon. That's just my personal opinion. Do your own technical analysis research. If and when this gets back over 367, the next area you would be looking at would be about $4, $4.50. But anything below $2.32 is just going to be a continued downward pattern drift. Now, where can you potentially make some money? Shorter term trade here. I wouldn't really play options on the stock just because you don't want to lose the premium on it. The stock is so cheap. You, you might as well just play shares, play equities. You know, if you want to load up a thousand, two thousand, three thousand shares, use two dollars and thirty two cents or two dollars and thirty cents as your max pain, as your stop loss. If FUBU loses two dollars and thirty cents, you get out of the trade. OK, we get out of the trade below the lowest low. OK, we don't want to be in the trade while it's making a new low. So if this stock price loses two dollars and thirty cents, let's exit the trade. As long as we are trading over two dollars and thirty two cents, let's put a 30, 60, 90 day hold time on this. And let's look for a dollar, $2 move within that time. If you've got a thousand shares, 2000 shares, you're, you know, it's not the best trade in the world, but you know, if you're talking about making 1500 bucks, 2000 bucks, 3000 bucks, if it moves up a dollar, dollar 50, so forth and so forth, then, you know, it's not a bad little, you know, 30, 60, 90 day trade. I really can't look any more on the horizon until something else turns around in the overall stock market, stock market as a whole. Guys, if you guys are interested in learning how to trade other stocks besides some of these smaller cap stocks, if you guys are looking to trade, you know, stocks that are with a lot of liquidity, a lot of volume that are being traded in and out each and every single day, stocks like Apple, Tesla, the triple Qs, the SPY, SPX, Microsoft, Facebook, so forth and so forth. Definitely join my discord. 
get access to the private channels, get access to my uh, strategies, the trading courses that I offer, the one-on-one -on -one mentorship, the live trading, so forth and so forth. All that information can be found down in the description box below. And until next time, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later.